Representative Marsh. Thank you, Madam Speaker. Colleagues, last week our Clean Energy Jobs Proposal, also known as House Bill 2020, got a national write-up in Vox. The headline perfectly summed up my own thoughts on the proposal, stating, quote, Oregon is poised to set a cap on greenhouse gas emissions. That's a huge deal, unquote. This article did a great job summarizing our program, but more importantly, talked about why it is necessary for a small state like Oregon to do its part to tackle a climate crisis that knows no borders. Throughout the process we've been involved in, we've heard from those who question whether Oregon's global impact on emissions is big enough to justify bold action. I believe that it is the obligation of every state and individual to do their part, particularly given that the United States emits more carbon collectively than all but one country. Further, our actions can spur bigger, broader change. As Vox noted, the steady growth of regional carbon trading systems may be the only viable road to truly national carbon policy. In addition to highlighting the potential positive economic impacts of our program, the article praised the process too. The author writes, quote, the negotiations required to bring all of its various parties to agreement were long, grinding, and unsexy, but they have blazed a trail showing how resource managers, businesses, environmental justice activists, and climate hawks can hammer out a compromise with guaranteed emission reductions at the core, unquote. I want to thank every member of the Carbon Committee for the time and energy they have invested in this process. I am confident that the program will be better thanks to the work you did to listen to people of all backgrounds and in every corner of the state. I want to especially call out the representative from Milwaukee for the incredible vision, leadership, and perseverance she has demonstrated through this long and admittedly grinding process. And what we have in front of us now is an opportunity to build a better economic future for everyone while doing our part to stop the catastrophic effects of climate change. We can be a national leader, and we can blaze the trail for other states to follow. I look forward to this legislation coming to the chamber and to voting aye. Thank you. Thank you, Representative.